Hello, Coto listeners. We are here to discuss the new community dental clinic program from Tri-County Health Network. From the organization, I have Greg Fisher, Director of Programming, as well as Claire Appel, Lead Registered Dental Hygienist. I'm going to kick this off with some questions. What were the reasons, Greg, that Tri-County launched this community dental clinic program? Well, thank you for having us today to talk about the new uh, community dental clinics. It's a pleasure to be here. So we recognize that dental care is an included benefit for health insurance through Health, Health First Colorado, which is known as Medicaid. However, not all dentists actually accept Medicaid, nor do all communities in our region actually have dentists. So there are significant barriers here that we need to overcome. We know that many people won't be able to travel to get the important dent preventative dental care that they need. So we are providing the convenience of community dental clinics in our three county region where there are no dentists that accept Medicaid or if or our community members need to actually drive further than 30 minutes to reach one. So we know from our past experience with Tri-County Health Network that our Skippy dental program has been a huge success. And for those that don't know, Skippy is our school-based dental clinic where we go into schools across the region to be able to offer dental services. And it, it's we've reached a, a significant number of kids. So we wanted to replicate that same success. We wanted to take down new barriers and help our adult community to receive the same type of quality dental care that our kids have been receiving. That's terrific. Um, can you tell me where these clinics are located and how much they cost? Yeah, so the great thing with the dental program here for all, all our Medicaid members is that there is no cost for the exam and there is no cost for the treatment provided. It is all covered by your Medicaid dental benefits. So right now we, we've identified Telluride, Natarita, and Ure being the areas that do not have access to dental benefits uh, with uh, dentists in the area. And that's where we're going in with this program to be able to offer it. Wow, great. Um, Claire, um, let's switch gears a little bit. I believe you are one of two providers for the Community Dental Clinic program. Can you tell me about yourself and Dr. Kobetz? Uh, sure thing. I'm Claire Pell. I'm a registered dental hygienist here in Colorado. I hold a license for Utah and Oregon as well. I was raised in Durango, Colorado, and I've lived here in Telluride for about four years. I went to school for hygiene in New Mexico, and I graduated in 2011. Um, my license in Colorado allows me to provide preventative care, such as x-rays, cleaning, fluoride applications, and antibiotic placements. Tri-County Health Network's dental program partners with Dr. Christy Copez, who oversees my treatments and care. And I also work at Ridgeway Family Dentistry and River Peak Dental that are both down in Ridgeway. And as far as right. Dr. Christy Copez, right? Um, She's been working in the dental field for over 30 years and she started off as a dental assistant and then she went to school for hygiene and then she's continued on to get her doctorate in dental surgery. And then after she completed her residency at the Denver Health Hospital, she returned to Telluride and immediately started working again with Tri-County Health Network. And she also works on the Navajo Indian Reservation and at the Telluride Center for Dentistry. Wow, it sounds like we have some qualified folks working on this program. Um, Claire, why don't you tell me, you seem really passionate about this program. Why are you so committed to this cause? Well, for a few reasons. Um, for starters, not all people have the same opportunities and access to dental care. I like working to remove those challenges. I love inspiring people to better their own oral habits. And, you know, just by educating the community on brushing and flossing and the importance of regular care makes a big difference. And I want to help people not to be so apprehensive about the dentist, which is actually more common than not. And, uh, you know, some people on Medicaid are unaware that they even have dental benefits. And, you know, we've been seeing patients in the last uh, month here that I haven't been to the dentist in 10 to 25 years. And another reason that I'm committed to help um, is that you can help reduce somebody's pain and dental pain can really affect somebody's ability to eat and sleep and resolving their pain can not only improve their mental health, but it also helps their general positivity. And honestly, it's great to be feeling a part of the solution and to empower people to help themselves through their oral health, which affects their overall well-being. Wow, that's fantastic. Thank you, Claire. Um, 
Greg, what should a patient expect um, when they visit the clinic? Yeah, that's a great question. So a lot of people know what it's like going into a doctor's office. And honestly, when you come into one of our community Uh dental clinics, you're going to see the same state-of-the-art service that you would see there. Our our mobile dental clinic has all the required equipment that you would see in any traditional dental practice. We got our dental chair, we got our x-ray machine, and a portable unit that houses all of our cleaning devices, including the suction and ultrasonic scalers. So of course, we've taken all the proper precautions due to COVID. Uh, We recognize that it's a very difficult time right now. So on top of that, we've also added in additional PPE uh, that includes having a UV air filter as well to make sure that we have a very clean environment. So our clinic is, again, it's a very welcoming environment. Like Claire said, we recognize people can be uh, scared, a little bit nervous going to the dentist. No one should feel that way. No one should feel nervous. Uh, and on top of that, uh, I think it's also important that we talk a little bit about the, uh, the virtual dental home model that incorporates in-person and virtual aspects of our exam process. Um, Claire, could you explain a little bit more about what that model looks like? Sure. Um, I perform a comprehensive periodontal exam and an oral screening, which includes an oral cancer screen too. And so each patient receives intraoral photos, x-rays, exam, cleaning, fluoride varnish, and if needed, sealants and an SDF. And of course, during the visit, I provide a lot of oral education on proper um, hygiene instruction. And then after our appointment, Dr. Copez does like a virtual exam through telecast dentistry. And basically, this means she's reviewing the x-rays, the photos, the voice notes, and my charted notes, and ultimately provides the recommendations. And while some people will only need to continue with regular cleanings, others may need additional treatments like ITRs and other restorational care from an outside provider. Um, And then we finish by calling patients to inform them of these recommendations. Wow, Wow. this sounds like this service is pretty comprehensive and high tech. Um, Claire, there were some treatments you mentioned like SDF and ITR that I'm completely unfamiliar with. Can you explain? Yeah. Um, The traditional treatments for cavities is a filling that may require a numbing injection. However, there are um, some treatment alternatives that work well like SDF and ITR that don't require a numbing injection. And these uh, procedures require an extra certification and expanded function in the state of Colorado, which I have received. And then the SDF stands for silver diamine chloride, and that's more indicated for small amounts of tooth decay um, which is good for like children that are um, easy to work on or elderly. And I can just apply a little bit of this liquid and it's a higher concentration of fluoride that arrests and crystallizes the decay and prevents it from growing and potentially needing a uh, more invasive filling. And then additionally, with the approval of Dr. Copez, I can perform an ITR, which stands for interim therapeutic restoration. And the ITR is a less invasive filling also that does not really um, involve numbing or drilling like the traditional filling does. And the process entails removing the decay with a hand instrument and then placing a glass ionomer material sealing the tooth off from further decay. And that's more indicated for a little bit larger filling, but not a really deep filling. Gotcha. Um, What if a patient has more complicated issues or requires additional dental work? Again, many patients haven't seen a dentist in a really long time. So the first step um, is offering the convenience of getting patients who are apprehensive to our clinic. And the next step is offering an exam, cleaning and the x-rays, like discussed earlier. And these steps help the majority of patients we see. However, the patients who do require more extensive restorative care, such as the larger filling, we can send their x-rays and charts to a dentist um, that accepts Medicaid. Um, We can offer a list of those providers to the patients if needed, and the community clinics are really meant to offer like convenience and encourage regular cleanings and checkups and ultimately reduce travel. So even if a patient needs a follow-up visit to a dentist, we are hopeful that by attending our community clinics twice a year that those visits decrease. Um, When a patient is required to travel to see a dentist who accepts Medicaid, Tri-County uh, Health Network can also provide transportation. And Greg, actually, he knows a little bit more about that. So, Greg, can you Yeah, certainly. Uh, Claire's stealing a little bit of my thunder here. But yeah, so with Tri-County, we offer lots of programs. And one of those areas that we do offer in 
is by helping to provide transportation to our community members. Again, we recognize with the, within our rural area, there's lots of barriers and geography is one of them. Um, so we have, uh, we do offer transportation through our local shuttle to be able to get people, whether you're in the West End or Telluride or Ure, it doesn't matter. We'll be able to work out, work out a solution for you to get you to the dentist's office if that's what you need. Great. You mentioned the clinics take place in Telluride, Ure, and Adarita. Can you offer more specifics? Certainly. Um, so we operate uh, as a mobile-based clinic to meet people uh, where they live. So uh, we, we launched this program at the very beginning of 2021 here in January and held it in Telluride, Ure, and Adarita. We're going back to these, th three, uh, these three places in February and March. So we're gonna be back here in Telluride, February and March on the 1st, the 2nd and the 3rd. We'll be in, back in Ure, February and March, the 8th, the 9th and the 10th. And then we'll be in Natarita, both February and March again, the 15th, the 16th and the 17th. So if you're on Medicaid, please go to tchnetwork.org front slash community dash clinic. From there, you'll be able to take, uh, sign up with the patient intake form and then you'll be able to select what location is best for you in one of those three cities and then select the appointment time as well. But however, we recognize that some people do have issues with technology and being able to get onto websites and be able to complete this. So if, that, if that's you, please call our office. Our number is 970-708-7096. And I'll say that once more since I know a few people might need to write that down. That is 970 708-7096. So we plan to continue the community dental clinics through for Medicaid members through March. Our, the community clinics will resume in the summer months after we complete our spring semester for Skippy, which is again, our school-based uh, dental clinics for children. Wow, that was a lot of information. I really appreciate the efforts Tri-County Health Network is taking to reduce barriers to care and offer this incredible dental program. Um, thank you, Greg and Claire, for your time today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's our pleasure. Thank you again.